so hey everyone today we will be understanding the problem uh, word combinations um, it's from this CSCS uh, problem set under the string section so first let's understand the question we are given a string of length n and a dictionary cont uh, containing keywords in how many ways can you create the string using the words so uh, okay so the, so looking at the constraints n is uh, 5000 and the dictionary containing keywords that's a long dictionary of 10 raised to 5 words 10 raised to 5 words but all the 10 raised to 5 uh, all the 10 raised to 5 words the total length of all of them is 10 raised to 6 so we can iterate over all these uh, 10 raised to 5 strings it won't give tle um so yeah this is the question and we can see that n square uh, n square algorithm can work here like it will work here and we have to print the number of ways uh, modulo 10 raised to 9 plus 7 so now understanding the statement suppose we are given a b a b c like over here and these are the words in the dictionary these are the words you have in dictionary so how, in how many ways can we combine these like we can use a single word any number of times so for example we can make like as it is given over here, over here we can make a b plus a b plus c so this is one way to make a b a b c then the other way is a b a b a b a b plus c this is the second way of making this word so uh, we as you can see all the words that i've used here we all have that word in the dictionary cb is not used because it won't be used because there is no combination we can make such that cb is used and we get this word so this is the problem statement so the main uh, data structure that we'll be using for this is try try like try should be it's a famous like try is actually used to implement dictionaries only so it gives you uh, it gives you access to two uh, very famous uh, like two very important functions like search in a dictionary and insert a word in a dictionary so these two functions become very easy when you use try and you can see that it will be very handy for us if we can uh, use these two functions in these questions so now let's understand try so try it or uh, take try as something like this it's a node it has a bool value it has a bool value it has a bool value and it has a uh, children like a total of 26 children and all of them are a b c till z it is a node which has 26 children and all of them are till a so it's something more or less like um it's a node and then for a we have a node and then for b we have a node this tree node only everyone has the same format this is either a uh, true or false that i'll explain what is that true or false true or false or uh, true or false similarly till uh, z till z we have that till z every node has an op uh, it's a tree node this node is a tree node every so every tree node has 26 tree nodes within it and all those 26 tree nodes are of different characters so like this true or false so this is what a tree node looks like so this is the basic structure of it so this is is and i'll tell you what this is and is in a while so this so basically is and tells if that is if that is the end of a word that is the end of a word that is what uh, is and does isn't tells us that is the end of the word like if it's true means that is the end of the word if it's not that means it's not the end of the word and all of the and all of these are initialized as null like everything is null initially this is also null like everything is null initially so now let's uh try making a try with like with some uh, with, uh, with some examples so let's just say uh yeah so okay um so let's just say we have the words um, a b c then we have so this is a word okay this is the word in the dictionary and then let's just say we have a b d and let's just say we have a b c f g this is the words we have so so let's start this is the node is end of this node is false as you can see right we have implemented is net is so constructor so whenever a new node is getting constructor you always call you always call the try node constructor so is end is false and all the child like i'm not drawing the child i'm not drawing the child but as you but you can assume that all of them are currently null so all the three nodes beneath these are null 
so we so let's start by uh, this this string let's start with this string so i'll get this string into the main picture abc let's iterate over this string first we are at a so we'll check does this root node does this root 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 node has anything like if it has any branch which is not null and has the value of a if it does not like it is not consisting of any branch that is a so we'll make one We'll make one and we'll mark this as uh, this is for A. Okay, this is for A and this will stay false. I'll tell you when this will become true. This will stay false. Then we'll come at B. So does this A has any branch which is going to B? No, it does not. So we'll make one more. And this is also false. And this is uh, and this was for B. Does this C like does this B have any branch which is of C like is so basically we are checking something like this does uh, this pointing to child of so what is c like what is like you get it like this okay so c minus a this will give you 2 that is why how you access this 26 so if this uh, equals equals null so you check something like this if this is the case like this is for b right so there should be a pointer to c also but that's not the case so i'll just erase this part so now if it's not having that then you create one okay very nice um, okay I'll just redraw it uh, so what were the words it was ABC ABD uh, ABFG let's draw it again for a uh, quick this time uh, so till here we have for A and for this it's also false for this we have uh, this and then this will be B for B and we were considering what ABC so we were at this pointer so does B have any branch leading to C no it does not so we'll make another one we'll make another one and this time for C and this will be true this will be true because you are at the end of a word so this C represents an end of a word so this will be marked as true and this was your try for this one so we are done considering this now let's come to ABD again same thing does the root node have any branch leading to A yes it has so let's go to this branch you do you don't have to create a new one does this A has uh, any branch leading to B yes it has so again you come over here does this B have any leading to D no so you'll create one this one becomes true because again it's the end of the word you are done with this let's go to ABFG does this A have anything does the root node have anything to do with a, like does it have any branch leading to a yes it has then you'll come to a again you are at b now does this a have anything leading to b yes it has then you'll come to b then you'll check for f does this b have anything leading to f no you know it does not so again f you'll make a new node and this will be false because this is not the end of the word now you come over to this f whenever you don't have a child that you're looking for you create a new tree node you, cre you create a new tri node and then here we have f then you'll again check for this g does f does f has does s does f has anything a, does f has a branch leading to g no it does not so you'll create a new one g and now this will be marked as true so this was the try this so you can call this a dictionary or a try for these three words for these three words now suppose okay this is how we insert it like what i did now is all done in the insert function that i'll be showing in the next slide whatever i told is written in code format the exact same thing and let's come to now what if you want to search for a string okay let's just say we want to search for the string um, a b d we want to check if dictionary has this string so i implemented the function search okay so let's check check this so again the same logic you come to the root you check if do we have an a yes we have do you have a, a b yes you have like continue it, it should be continuous so does this a have anything has a branch leading to b yes it has does this b have a branch leading to d yes this has and now does that d is it the end is it the end yes it is then it is true then you will return true then you will return true now i'll like you will be able to understand the concept better if i do search of uh, abf so abf is not in a string right abf is not in a dictionary but let's run it again so does this root node has anything has a branch leading to a yes it has let's go to that branch 
now we are at now we want to search for b does this a have any branch leading to a b yes it has so you'll go to that b does this b have any branch leading to f yes it has now you are at the last word you are at the last uh, character now is this f the end of a word no it's not it's not the end of a word so you will return false so this is the root case you have to check like after you have implemented all of them or suppose so, okay so this was one case this is when you will be getting false this is when you will be getting false now suppose i'm running the search for um, abe abe again from root do we have a, a path to a yes we have from a do we have a path to b yes we have from b do we have a path to e no we don't so that time also you'll return false so this is how uh, this insert and search algorithm is working insert is how I like I implemented just now like how this try was made and search I just told you like what all the these are the two cases when it's not the end and when you don't even have that branch so that time it will be false otherwise it will be true so this was try like this is how it works there are many more functions like try use for many more applications but these are the two cases that we'll be needing right now. So this is the code. Uh, this is the search string code. As you can see, this is exactly what I told. You get a pointer to current, and then you uh, iterate over the string. This is the string that you want to search, and you get that index for suppose if it's C, uh, then you for so what will be the index for C? It will be C minus A, that is two. We have made a child of 26, right? So child of 26 has elements from 0 to 25. So that's how. So that's why we want this two. You will check if current pointing to child index, like if the current node does not have a branch leading to the child index, it's null. So you will return false. Otherwise, just go to that thing. And in the end, you have to check if it's the end. This is just what I explained. The same thing you have to do in insert string. In just now, if you don't have a branch, you will create a new branch. And we use the constructor. You will create a new branch. And similarly, you will go to the end of that. You will keep on traversing till the root and as soon as you have reached the end like this is the end right you will make the current is then equals to true because that is the end of the string so this is how these two functions work so yeah this is now the main code where we have used the insert part where we use the insert functionality i have initialized a root new try node so before this i have defined a global one also i'll be sharing the code also so try node i have initialized this already so now here i have I have given it a constructor value because this root was not initialized. So you have to initialize via constructor. So root is equals to new try node. And then every string you will just insert into the uh, try node. So I'm always taking a copy of the root. So you will always, you, as soon as you get a string, you will insert it into the try node. So now talk, so now let's come back to the question. Now we are very much clear how to search for a string in a dictionary. So now let's talk about the main logic. So now I'll be explaining the main logic via this example a b a b c. So let's make the try for this thing uh, a b. Okay. Okay. So the strings are a b a b a b a b a b a b c and c b c and c b. Okay. So this is our dictionary. Now if I just make a quick try. So a um, I'm just making this a raw diagram a b uh, a b and then um again you'll have an a here you will have true because this is the end of a word for this one and then we'll again make a pointer to b and this would also be true this is false this is basically is in what i'm writing and then you're making one to c this would be true because c is a single letter over here and then when you'll be making over here b and this will also be true so this is what the try the, uh, this is what the try will look like for these words now let's get to the question so what was the string that we were given uh, a b a b c right so a b a b c so this is how we'll be solving this question we'll be make you, uh, you can read this thing but i'll be telling this thing verbally only so if you're not able to get what i'm saying you can read this so this is a b a b c okay so let's maintain an array okay i'll draw i'll do that computer a b a b c let's maintain an array initially uh, everything will be zero 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 and i'm making a one over here that you'll soon understand why i'm writing but i've also explained that part over here so this will be the one this is more like a base case this is a base case 
so i'll be starting from the behind c okay now i have get like i have c so i will check uh do i have so from c so okay you won't get this now but from c, but for c i will check do i have this thing in the dictionary how will i check that i will just go to the root i have a c is that true yes is that true so means this part is available this part is in the string so your answer now for this one's become this one becomes let's just mark this one second uh, this is the index 0 1 2 3 4 5 so now dp of 4 is equals to dp of 4 plus dp of 4 plus 1 means now you're sure right that i can make a string from 4 but then just tell me what was the answer till here how many ways were you able to implement till this part till this part how many ways were there you were able to complete the string and i can assure you that till this part i am making a string so the answer for this will be updated to 1 so the answer for this uh, will be updated to 1 this is 1 okay now let's come back to b now we are at b one second i'll just uh, okay now i am at b so uh, now let's check from b so first from b to b okay first we'll be checking this part first we'll be checking this part do we have this thing in the string no we don't have so basically i'll be maintaining a pointer always so as soon as i am in b i will check that do i have a pointer to b like can i go to b do i have this but i don't have that right i don't have that thing so you can just break from that point because why you can break from that point because there is no point search so basically you iterate over you get you shift the pointer to left 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 and you check these strings you go in that order you will be it will be much clear in the code so basically iterating i will be from n minus 1 to i greater than equal to 0 and then j would be from i till n minus 1 this is how the loop we so this is how the loop we are running this is the loop from i to n and then we are checking from i to n minus 1 so i checked for b i don't have any string like b is only failing so it's no point checking for bc right because if b is not there like you don't have a branch to b obviously you don't have a branch to bc so there's no point you can just break and you can just move this pointer you can just move this pointer so i'll uh, move this pointer so i'll move this pointer to a now again let's check for a to a so we check okay we have a but it's not the end it's not a word right we have a it's not the word so we have a but it's not the end so let's go for b we checked for a b it was a word right it is a word because okay so this is how we are dry running my pointer is over here i checked for a so i have a a i went to that branch but is it the end no so don't add anything to the dp because you have not yet found a word now what's the next word the next word is b do we have a b yes we do have a b following a a so yes and that is the word means you have finally found a word what you have to do now you all you have to do is dp of 2 dp of 2 is equals to dp of 2 plus dp of what what was this thing it was 3 so plus 1 dp of 4 you're getting right dp of i is equals to so basically the logic is if like if i'm telling you in this way in i and j time so dp of i when you find a word only when you find a word dp of i is equals to dp of i plus dp of j only when you found a word you, like here ab was a word and, and how was i so sure because this was isn't true this part is true dp of j plus one and then you have to check okay ab is a word now you give me the answer what was still here they told me okay the answer is one so okay then he told okay i so that means i have to add one to my answer so here it will get updated to one so now if i just uh erase everything and this part will get updated to one this is one okay so we are done now uh we again check for a to b now now we were at this part right we are this so we will again check for a b c do we have this a b c no there is no c following a b 
right so just break from that point we are done like this got updated to one and we are done so now let's shift the pointer let's sh uh, shift the i pointer one one back so now we are over here b so let's check for b okay let's check for b do we have a b no we don't have a b so you don't have to iterate like you always start from the root okay you do do, do you have a b no you don't have a b so just shift the left pointer again back just just shift the left pointer again to the back so now i am at a so now let's check for a do i have an a yes i do have an a so i went to this part do i have a b yes i do have a b now have you found a word yes i have found a word so the answer is simply what will be dp of 0 now dp of 0 is equals to dp of 0 plus dp of 1 because this is a word right and you are asking like tell me the answer what you got till here i will add that to my answer because i am myself a word i will connect to your answer dp of 0 plus dp of 2 so now this gets updated to 1 okay so It is always this logic like whenever you find a j and that is a word and how you like and how you confirm that it, it is a word the is and should be true and now okay then this uh, okay so this gets updated to one because a b was a word right a b was a word now again you come to a b is done and you have added to answer let's go to a b a do you have a a following a b yes we do have that right we do have that so you came to here is this a word is a b a a word no it's not a word because ending is false let's move on uh, we'll go to a b a b does so do we have a b uh, after this a yes we do have a b is this a word yes it is a word that means again you found a word a b a b is a word add that now you will demand for the answer till c you got one so again you will do dp of zero is equals to dp of zero plus dp of what was the answer till here because you confirmed that this is a word so dp of 4 so now it will get up it uh, it was already 1 what is the value of dp of 4 it is 1 answer is 2 so here this will get updated to 2 in the end you simply have to return dp of 0 so uh, yeah this was the dp part and what i told you exactly is what i have written in the code simply dp of len is one what is this dp of len this is this one this is the base case that i have written and i have initialized so what does dpi represent it represents ways to make a complete string from i to n okay then again as i told you i is uh, running from a len minus one to i greater than or equal to zero as you saw a b a b c we were running a pointer this way and for every i for every i i made a copy of test i made a copy of test and i started checking number by number and if any point it fails that means you have to simply break that means you have to simply break because if if that branch is not there further branches you're sure it won't be there right because it's null so it, it won't have end. you got me right so so yeah so then you iterate so suppose i am so i was at here right a b a b c i was at here so i was iterating from my i was over here and my j was running from this point till this point till end it was running and it was keep on checking like do i have an a following like b is it followed by a do i have an a followed by b and anywhere if it breaks that means just simply return like it's done now so yeah, that is how it's working like you get the idx i'll just show you a small dry run one one last time so um similarly right for that node we have an a so now we came now j was considering for this b point we have a b this is just right like if if you don't have a child like suppose i was at a I, like do i have a yes i have a then go to like then do i have a b yes you have a b do i again have an a yes you have suppose this had been e no suppose this had been e okay so suppose the string has been a b a b if this would have been the string so a b then b then do i have a string e after b do i have this no you don't have this so you have to simply break from this point only you can't go ahead otherwise if you have just make the node just make your test root that that your test root go to that child index 
and in the end in the end always make sure like every time you are traversing a j every time you are traversing a j keep checking if it is a word keep checking if you have found a word if it is a word just simply add to the dp j plus 1 because you want to get the answer after that right so keep asking that yeah, keep adding that to dp j plus 1 and your final answer would be dp 0 So yeah that was it uh, I'll add the code in the description thank you